Good morning. Today is Saturday the 15th. Again, it is uh, absolutely amazing weather. Woo. Was that a sunbeam? No. No, that was a bird. No, it's foggy. Again. And it's probably going to rain. Uh, again. There's a church. Again. Does this place ever change? Seriously. Does it ever change? Oh, that car. That car. That BMW was there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That BMW. It looks like that BMW. I think it was a spot back yesterday. That's different. That's different. Yeah. Uh, we uh, we ran out of battery yesterday around like two. Yeah, it was early, so we missed some stuff like the London. Well, I got the video of the London Eye. I just sorry I videoed your crotch. Um, it was by accident, I swear. Uh, so we're gonna try and make up for it today with uh, the cool stuff, the yep. stuff we've been waiting for. Tower of London tortures. Yes. Uh, Lots of riches. The Shakespeare's Globe tortures. Some other tortures. This is the day of torture. And subways. Subways and tortures. And buses. Oh, a little note. These buses go from 0 to 60 in like 0.5 seconds. And they will run you over. Just, uh, just a note. Good morning. This is day three of our trip. We are here at the Tower of London. Um, I do believe this is the tower. Many of people have come in and out of that building with and without their clothes on. Um, that Heather and Lowe's up there. Right now, John taking a picture. We're gonna keep zooming around, see what we have here. I don't really know what all this is, but that's okay. I'm sure it's important. Great big building here. Very old, I'm sure. Just your grandmother. Perhaps your great-grandmother. Alright, this is a quick tour of the scenery. We will be back soon with more detail. We noticed that the trash cans say litter as opposed to trash. Quick observation. Man, on top of the tower. I'd just like to get a close up here. He says, go yonder way and be naked in all your glory. Got it. We are at a memorial, I found out, for um, people who have lost their lives at sea. And you can see all the names listed on the walls. It goes all the way around. I don't really know what any of these names read, but... Alright, let's go. Your parents can remember them greatly. <laughs> Pretty part two. <laughs> yeah. There's get, John. Did you get John get Travolta? Inside of his ear. Oh. Did you get John Travolta from Saturday Night Fever? Oh yeah, but I didn't uh, call him that. Oh. <laughs> there he is. Hey John. <laughs> JT. <laughs> John, you've had many discussions about, well, never mind. <laughs> you were in we would like to meet you one day, old Johnny boy. SVP. Oh. It's <laughs> Jane. This one be the giant egg. Symbolism of Easter as it approaches. Here's the London Bridge. Makes me want to jump out in song, but I will spare you the noise. It is pretty though. Zoom in. Oh, excuse me. I think I'm getting in everybody's way. It's okay. When we hear your commentate commentating we'll judge you we'll judge you it's really green grass. it is I told you what 
Yeah. And I've told him he thinks I want to smoke it. <laughs> this is um, London Tower, or Tower of London, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is better than some of the grass I play golf on. Except for there. That's about the quality of grass that I play golf on. Really crappy. But that's usually where I hit the ball, so... It doesn't really matter. I don't play in the grass anyway. Alright, we're about to go inside. There's the... There's the line. Well, no, that's a wall. There's the line over there. This is a good $30 to get into. So, it better be damn good. You are? All right, I'm now entering the tower itself. So, you get to walk with me. Or the uh, gates and pause. All right, inside the tower, this is uh, where they used to park their cars before battles and where they stored their oriental men for calculations and strategy mostly calculus I cal like the calculus homework that guy didn't do it's where they stored rainwater this is all pretty much obvious I get it. You're fun? You're having fun, aren't you? Yeah, I love this crap. <laughs> um, not a whole lot to this area. It's just, it's a castle. Go up these stairs. Alright, this is the south wall. New cottage. Where we're going in now. I think this is where the midget priest did confessions. This room is the hall of St. Thomas's Tower, part of the 13th century palace built by Edward I and his father, Henry III. Edward stayed here briefly in 1294 whilst preparing for war. The tower was one of many castles these kings used, and they never stayed long. The tower was very important Father and son spent heavily extending the castle to the right. How how do you think that was originally put in with the uh with the castle? Maybe a later edition, perhaps. <laughs> There's a lot of consummation. Lots of it. My stained glass windows. I think that's where they filmed all of Robin Hood. In that single room. <laughs> this is one hell of a moat. It's the grassiest moat I've ever seen. Well, here are some uh, spiral staircases that go down and up. We can go neither direction. Projector made by Panasonic, the ancient company. Henry the Sixth.
Interesting. He died clinging on to his fire extinguisher, his favorite fire extinguisher. Should we get to go up some steps? Is there a tower? Nope, a wall. East wall. And the famous crows. The crows of London Tower. Nothing says a prison like a teddy bear. Aww. John and his artsy fartsy crap. Hey, let me get a door. Let me take a picture of the door. Guess what? There's a bridge right there. You see that? I bet you did. I bet you did. Is that the uh, building you were talking about? That egg one? No! Here. Oh. Oh, that's it. John's been obsessed with this egg shaped building. Um, I'll pretend you didn't say that. Ancient CD collections and chess sets. That's where you can get them. I like saying the word ancient. Scribes use this bone stylus to scratch marks onto wax. Like this. That's pretty good actually. Anything good out here? Cannon. More cannons. Still standing in the uh, center, London Tower. And where John is standing. Caroline. <laughs> this is where the Queen's heads were removed. Stairs we actually get to go up.
Santa. These are all written on the walls by the prisoners in the towers. Thomas Clark. Thomas Melville. Can't read those other names. Edmund Poole. That, I personally think, it's up to you, it's a free world. I think that's the most fantastic building I've ever seen anywhere in the world, and I've been around a bit. That's the most fantastic royal palace anywhere in the world. Built on the orbs were put in the corner in the year of 1078. 20 years to complete, standing over 90 feet high, makes it the largest of all the towers on this 18 acre site. The walls at the base are 15 feet thick, and they taper up to 11 feet thick at the top, and there are also four turrets. Three of them are square, and you can just see there on the far side, a bit of work being done on it there, it's one long brown turret. That used to be the site of the very first ever Royal Observatory, studying stars and planets before it moved to Greenwich in the 17th century. If you don't mind now, ladies and gentlemen, pick a turret, have a look right at the top. You see a weather vane, surmounted by a gold painted crown and the Royal Standard. You know that they still always have to be and always will be a Royal Palace. Thank you very much. You'll never forget that now, ladies and gentlemen. Never. Although normally you use as a Royal Residence. Ladies and gentlemen, just said it. All our King and Queens lived for well over 500 years. They always lived on the top floor. There's four levels to that building. Those windows there are not original, but they are as all the same floors. I remember it by Sir Christopher Wren. But our kings and queens would live at the top. So when you go in there and visit, they never take you about an hour to get out. And you, like, and you read everything, it'll take you all day. It really is fantastic in there. And whatever you do, please do not forget to go right down to the bottom, right in the basement. The other side of those very thick walls, because down there is the official torture chamber here at the Tower of London where we officially torture people. <laughs> you name it, it was done. Someone said to me, how do you, how did they become torturers? Well today I suppose you've got to call it, couldn't you, and learn things. I would, say, I would say it's probably trial and error, isn't it? I mean, what, what would hurt you? What would hurt you? Anything, isn't it? Pain. Take my shoes and socks and just <laughs> I'll tell you anything. It's trial and error, isn't it, sir? Whatever. Please don't forget to visit down there. If you can get the feel for it, use your imagination. How oh, these people have been felt when we take it down there. I'll just tell you one thing now. I don't know if say this. One day, in the year 1282, we took 200 people down there, just one day, during the old day, busy day this was, and hanged every single one of them by the neck until they were dead. Make sure you visit that historic, <laughs> infamous torture chamber. But I'd like to just give you a word of warning about that historic torture chamber, ladies and gentlemen, where lots of people suffered and died. Because today down there, there is a gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> where, yes, where the only thing that screams now, sir, is your wallet. But you have been warned, fantastic. Let's put a gift shop in a torture chamber. And everybody, we've got 10 million people here, they all go down there, don't they? Right, okay. well, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get into the bloody tower, <coughs> straight down the cobble street there in the corner, <coughs> excuse me, there is a, a, a no entry sign, go to the left here, and the door is just out of sight, right in the corner. If you come right up there now, we're talking about now what we mentioned earlier, Queen's House. What are you looking at there? The reason why it's What's interesting about this is, you're looking at the only 100% perfectly preserved Tudor residence standing in the city of London. Great Fire of London. And if you're not aware of it, the city of London is only one mile square, remember? You with me? One mile square. So the north side of the river Thames. Okay? Look at the roof. It's tile. After the Great Fire of London, until this very day, and still bad, thatched roofs are still banned today by law. Okay? Even that Queen's house had to be changed. Now, if you go to the Globe Theatre, they've not been to the Globe Theatre. So, on the southern side of the river, so that means it's not in the city of London. Are you with me? Okay, so that route is completely bad. Now, that building there, <coughs> excuse me, is still being used today by the governor of the town of London and his family. We've also used it in the past to hold prisoners. For example, two queens, Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard. Prisoners in there. 
And most recently during the Second World War, Rudolf Hess, the deputy commander of Hitler's Nazi Germany, was in prison there for four days in May of 1941. And I know for a fact there's people here from the United States, isn't there? How many? Put your hands up, please. You've heard of William Penn? Please say yes. <laughs> William Penn was also a prisoner there for about seven months. Before we, uh, do we say, uh, give him a chance to live and leave. And this is why he said to him, you stay here and you keep on doing it. He was talking about the cost of the crime, you see. The king didn't like it. He said, you don't show up, let's go. Or you can leave the country and never come back. So he left and this is when he found the Pennsylvania. Clever, eh? Aren't we clever? Finger on the bus. Right, all this grass area around here, ladies and gentlemen, is known as Tower Green. It's our very own village green here, inside the town of London. Well known because of this square cobbled area with this glass feature. We got that there, ladies and gentlemen, is our private execution site. So you know where the public one is, now you know where the private one is. Here, only seven people lost their heads, and the most well known was the first one, Anne Boleyn, on the 19th of May, the year of 1536. It was a Frenchman with a sword. That fashion, she was kneeling up straight and brought the sword around in that fashion with so much speed, believe me, if you'd have blinked, you'd have missed it. It was that. Her head, remember, she's only a very small lady, very petite. The execution had been doing this for years. It was very professional, bigger and stronger than me. Okay, a very thin neck, straight through it, like an off night through button. Believe me, ladies and gentlemen, it was that quick that when he grabbed hold of the head and lifted it up with the blood still dripping from the stump, her lips and her eyes were still moving. It was that quick. Even as she was carried across this burial ground behind me, she laid to rest inside the chapel, it was still moving. She's laid to rest in there now. I'll show you when we get in there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I have to get serious now. Well, let's proceed inside the chapel in a moment. There's things I must tell you. Firstly, ladies and gentlemen, there is to be... Let's start with gentlemen. Gentlemen, would you mind taking your hats off before you go through the door? There's to be no smoking, no eating, no drinking. If you have a mobile telephone, known as the instrument of the devil, Remember to turn it off, please do. If you forget, I couldn't care less. Yes, sir. Would have been, when we say scaffold, that's scaffold today. Yeah, scaffold. Yes. Many more people this Right, we're now entering the bloody tower. The torches were. It's fairly tight squeeze. Princes were held, where the royalty was held. Water. Uh, this is Trader's Gate. As, as shown. Still in use today for those who choose to portray the United Kingdom, including those who migrate to America seeking, I don't know, a better, more polluted. And more polluted. <laughs> a, a better pollution. Better polluted life. Privates were held. Center tower. The white tower. This is where all the torches went on. Well, downstairs. It's the main hall. The arsenal room. Not the football team. The 
is a replication of the armors and the horses that the kings used. I guess during the time period of those kings. Charles II. Charles I. James of England. Edward VI. Henry VIII. Seventh, Edward the Fifth, Just stay quiet, there was a silent room. Obviously there weren't fans. Samurai armor. That was unexpected. Closer to the um, basement. This is the artillery room. This is the big muskets. I guess those for uh, swivel guns. Actually, mount those on the tower. They uh, once stored gunpowder in the tower, and then it exploded, blew up half the tower. So they learned not to do that anymore. I know. idiot. This is not London Bridge. This is Tower Bridge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's kind of nice. There's a... Do you hear beat it in the tower. background? Yes, I do. No one wants to beat it. Some people want to be defeated. Oh, 
<laughs> yes, you do. You are an exhibitionist. Or, uh, I'm not sure where the London Bridge is at the moment. Might be that way. I think it's that way though. It might even be that crappy bridge. I don't know. Looks like this. I don't know. Huh? Okay. That's London Bridge. Um, which is really disappointing. Actually. Extremely disappointing, I would say. That's, I agree. That's really boring. I guess I guess it would be boring since it burnt down. And now it's just a regular bridge. So Tower Bridge is the more exciting one. Who knew? Well, this is the um, uh, Naval Museum, Belfast. This is just something for the ladies. In the uh, look at all that semen. I mean, those semen. Look at all those semen. It's a big load. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John. So inappropriate. Good God. Just walk through. Uh, where do we walk through? See? Southwark Cathedral. We just walk through the. I guess the lunch period for everyone there. <clears throat> yes. Now there's a boat. Cafe Nero. I guess to celebrate the burning of Rome. It's my ship. Don't take pictures of my ship, please. Unless you're planning on paying for it. My harbor. Oh damn. Got me. Flint Prison Museum. We just walked that way from the ship. We're on our way to uh, the Shakespeare Globe. The amphitheater where Shakespeare used to put on his plays. It's also on the way to Tate Modern Art Museum, which we're not going to because Modern Art Globes. I gotta find the girls because they've lost us. I am now using our student ID cards, our ancient student ID cards. We've, uh, <laughs> isn't that unfortunate? Uh, we've, uh, <laughs> the three people who don't go to college anymore. Um, we have entered the Shakespeare's Globe Museum. Um, it should be fairly interesting. Um, we'll be starting here soon. I don't know all, what all goes on. That was the grounds. Great camera work. Great camera work. Uh, we're supposed to wait by this tree. This fake tree inside the building, so... I'm gonna go around instead. With John, excuse me. And do what I want. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not go that way. Oh, that'll be actually really fun to see. Okay, I'll pause it until we get to the good stuff. Okay, um, if any of you uh, speak Spanish, Italian, French or German, we have a leaflet um, in the language. Um, you can get the leaflet across the room there. Um, my friend uh, Katie will have a, give you a copy. So I'll uh, say that again, if your language is Spanish, Italian, French or...
The clothing was born in the years ago. It was so many chances. This is awful video. Awful. I'm just like, wow. Look at this. This is the uh, current building as it stands with the globe in the center. The shopping area. The restaurant. So basically every, uh, we're in the Victoria and Albert Museum now. Basically every piece of art or type of art you can imagine is in this building. Uh, this, this area is not open at the moment. But you can just see the kind of, I think this, this is what, the ironworks area? Iron, iron and stone? Maybe, maybe just stone. But uh, this is a, we're on a balcony. This is just an enormous entryway. There's a door over there. This is sculpture. Sculptures. Obviously, but you know, well, yeah. Is, I wish I knew that these were specific. We just went through, what did we go through? 16th to 18th century. European. Uh, uh, most of it was religious um, artifacts. That stuff was cool. There were chalices and things. Yeah. It's a bunch of also ivory work. Is this ivory? Just look at the number of elephants killed. That's all elephant tusk. Good job. Way to endanger the species. If I keep kicking that damn railing, that is the fourth time since we've gotten in here. But uh, we could go down there later. But look, all right. This is the size of my hand up close. Now, can you imagine the size of that down there? I think we can get down there. Oh, we can. I mean, you see the see the people like like Hottie Mc what's her face. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a, just an enormous column. Just um, uh, like four. Four stories? Five stories? Uh, yeah, roughly five stories. That's gotta be at least. Just in the detail is, um, it's a pretty impressive five stories of the column. How thick would you say that is in diameter? I'd, I'd say. 10 feet in diameter? If, was, if, if I'm laying down, well, I'm laying down there. It's gotta be. That's at least 12, 12 feet, feet in diameter. In diameter. <clears throat> There's another column. It's just, it's just as tall as the other. I don't even know where these come from. I'm sure we'd find out if we were down there. Yeah. We've got 10 minutes of battery. Why does the battery always have to die at the greatest parts? Oh, yeah. look, 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 there's tomb. There's, um, uh, tombs. Which, yeah, not tombs, but, the, uh, oh my God, I'm an idiot. That was five, that was five times I kicked that thing. and go downstairs. It's on the other side. Still haven't gone downstairs yet. This hasn't even been opened. That's still in packaging. This has got to be Jesus. replicas. There's Jesus there. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the statue of David. Real or not, it's still cool. When you got um. Okay. When I said this place had everything, um, I mean everything. There's even a section for glass materials and techniques. This is architecture. 
um, little condos, little models. It's got uh, castles, hotels, um, historical sites, like architectural history. I'm going to try and walk through here really quickly. We'll go down in a second before the battery dies. Alright, we're in the room of Japan. Well, it's recording when I do that. Start again. We're in the Japan room. Whatever. Uh, some daggers. Short swords. Back up with it. Pretty cool. Actually, they're very cool. Uh, a little knives. Ginsu. Early Ginsu. Samurai apparel. These were worn by the Ninja Turtles. And Ninja Turtles 3. That's exact costumes. And that's why they're popular. That's why they're in this museum. It's because they were worn by the Ninja Turtles. That was worn by... Um, Lois? That was April. 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 Lois O'Neill. Sorry, Lois. I don't know why I said that. And, uh, Lois, Lois was in Superman, not Ninja Turtles. Robes. Okay, so we finally made it into the room. We found out that these are all plaster casts. These are uh, tomb, tomb effigies here. And, you know, that's still pretty epic enormous. Um, I'll have to say this is the best museum that we've been in. Much better than the Natural History Museum. Much better than the crappy streets we walk on, that's for sure. The place is crappy. Good morning! Alright, we uh, woke up today to a lovely Which sight. Good. Yeah. <laughs> that alone Man. was good. I was afraid that you weren't gonna wake up. I was being kind of, I was kind of being loud. I don't think you were. Where am I filming? I'm not filming anything. Go outside. I'll film you. Every morning. Okay. Well. Yeah. All right. What day is it? The 16th. This is. Oh my God! It's raining. What else is new here? All right, it started raining last night and it hasn't stopped, I think, since never. So, uh, there's the church again. Oh, sh shit! Raindrops. This is the worst day ever so far. Anyway, I uh, hope everyone's enjoying our misery of this shit hole of... It's Adam again. Uh, John and I have gone exploring one last time while the girls sleep one last time uh, and get and get packed to go to the airport uh, this this is Hyde Park of course it's still raining it's always raining or it's foggy it's Hyde Park we're just gonna uh, fly through it really fast I may I may even video the High points. Um, maybe this isn't High Park. Maybe we just took a picture of High Park. Let's check that sign. That looks like High Park though. This is High Park. High Park. Oh. Anyway, this is High Park. It's a rather large. It's like Central Park, I guess. It's the equivalent of Central Park for London. So. There it is, there's our Hyde Park. On the beautiful beaches of Maui. Uh oh, we're still in London where it's rain. And not sunny or beautiful. Except this this park is nice. This is uh this is the lake in the center of Hyde Park. Well, 
It's almost it's almost the center. Close enough to the center. It cuts the center. Yeah. Come on, man, get it right. I don't know. <laughs> actually, actually, I did. I'm unusually a bunch of ducks and such. Ducks. That didn't sound country at all. Ducks. It looks like a. It looks like I'm scoping out the area. Yep, this is Hyde Park. We'll be heading back to the hotel to uh, say goodbye to it here in a second. But uh, one last view. Sunny old England. Alright, so we were uh, just walking through the park and uh, stumbled upon these. So we figured we'd. Sorry, we'd make the girls wait. We apologize. I'm gonna be late back to the hotel. But uh, this was worth getting on film. It's, uh, what was it again? The Albert Memorial? Prince, yeah. Prince or King Prince, Albert? Prince Albert. Prince Albert Memorial. So it's pretty cool. Get off my view screen, you stupid raindrop. That's better. Okay. And right across the street is the uh, Royal Albert Hall. I don't know what's in there. That's cool. Ooh, that's cool. The building has some artwork on the side of it. Okay. Now I think we might be done. As soon as John comes back. Oh shit. Pardon me. There's a Prince Albert. In a can. Of sorts. And that was his actual size. He was feared because he was 20 feet tall and made of gold. When he died, he just sat down. He didn't have to do anything. He just stuck his lifeless gold body in a tower, whatever, a monument. And I just stepped in a bottle of water, which is absolutely awesome. Okay. Just one more quick thing. There's the Royal College of Art. If you care. To add to the excitement of uh, the last monument, we've, uh, we've gotten lost a little bit. Teddy Roosevelt! <laughs> what an odd place to put a Teddy Roosevelt monument. Or Robert Napier. Whatever. Oh, we could probably go. Um, we've had to uh, we've had to take a bit of a detour, seeing as where we left the park was nowhere near the two. Uh, so we're just cruising, cruising down a random street. So y'all get to enjoy it too. Why not? Freddie Mercury was not just walking running down the street. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, you'll, got you'll hear it later. Mm -hmm. You'll hear it later. Okay. Um, some great footage of the ground. More great footage of the ground. You still filming? Yeah. Why not? I mean, I got, I got 11 minutes left on this tape. Might as well use it up. I got so the other tape in my back pocket. But then you only have one tape left. <laughs> After this beer. After this case, and then that other case, only got one case left. Simpsons reference. Sorry if you don't like the Simpsons. Got it. Video land. YouTube people. They're gonna flame this anyway. Screw them. Who's <laughs> gonna watch little, four hours of a London trip? <laughs> Some 13 year old will, and then at the end they'll go, That was stupid. You're a effing S piece I, of F. I hated the part where you actually. Film the road. Then you can come back and say that uh, this is retarded that you even watched the entire fucking video. Two courses. Three courses, $26.95. That's only $54 for three courses. That ain't bad. Here. It's a great deal. Okay, I'm turning this off. Right, we're at the British Museum. And uh, we just walked into uh, 
the Egypt portion, and inside is the mummies. It's going to be really loud, so I'm not going to be able to talk, but this is where mummies are. This may not seem very interesting at first, but this is uh, ancient Babylonian. And it looks just like scratching. 
Well, it's actually literature. It's about 4,000 years old. You notice at the bottom they have weights. The most exact scale is the grams. So, pretty advanced literature and I guess, science. It's a room for ancient Iran and ancient Europe. I was walking uh, out a hallway and we appeared in this giant dome area. Apparently there are two exhibits going on at the moment. One on the first Chinese emperor and the other on uh, some, some Roman emperor, I believe. Um, this place was unexpected as well. It's pretty huge. That's cool. All right, so this is our last day. Last day in London. Oh, we're going home now. No, wait, we've got another country to go to. <laughs> Caroline, where there she is. Reflection. She doesn't know oh, she's being filmed. What was? <laughs> what was everybody's favorite thing? Uh, Tower of London. Tower of London? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's fun? Seeing all the people with their jeans tucked into their boots. Uh, <laughs> no. I liked everything. I liked the globe. And I seeing the madhouse at Harrods. The madhouse? Madhouse. Madhouse. We didn't go into I, Harrods, but for a second. I, I liked all the gypsies that were running around Harrods trying to get money from you. <laughs> really? You liked. Were they called clerks? No, they were gypsies. I like the awesome. House of Parliament. I wish I could have toured more of it, though. I like that area. I wish, I wish that it had been in full session. I wish we had. And yelling at each it. other. Like like you should see on BBC. Let me see. Oh, like I like the area around Buckingham and, and all that. Adam, what was your favorite? Oh, I liked our morning walk to Vauxhall. And I like the mummies. And the hotel. I like the hotel. Yeah. I, I like, forgot to I get like a the, picture. I like the, the breakfast, the breakfast girl at the hotel. I did count and I got two. Was she hot? Yeah, she was hot. Who? Did you take? God, she was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. She was French girl too. I didn't see yeah, that. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. She was real cute this morning too. Her outfit was really cute. She's always cute. Uh, breakfast was good. I didn't eat breakfast. Good, good old cereal. <laughs> I didn't eat breakfast the first day. And hey, the, hi. I got coffee. You didn't cut it for me. <laughs> My coffee was pretty bad. Yeah. It wasn't that it was really bad. It was just very strong. No, it was just bad. <laughs> okay. It was all of the above. Even if they didn't make it strong. I See, I didn't even think it was that strong. It just tasted like poopy. I didn't like it. Yeah. Ooh. It does the trick. That's and all I care. I know. I put a ton of sugar on everything. It's ridiculous. But I just ate like granola bars in the morning. So. Hey, Adam. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, have you Do I start to record? Ooh. Yeah, Treat that orange. Treat your ladies. So what? 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 Huh? Okay. Uh, 
You're still filling. Look at those fingers work on that orange. Ooh. It's magic. I'm, I want to eat Anyway, touch the table. All right, somebody else can have a turn. I'll do it. Well, actually, no. I'm too tired to think of anything. I'm too tired. I just turned off. It's probably... How many minutes does it say are left? The video. It, it says... Oh, zero. Probably it's off. flashing red. Right? It's much larger than it was yeah. when my mom packed oh. me. Um, yeah, I think it's stopped. Oh, 